Hello everybody. In this video, come along with me to St. Genevieve to the Museum Learning Center with my family. We're going to check out some dinosaur fossils and some other awesome specimens that they have. And St. Genevieve is a really cool town to come visit. It's one of the oldest cities in Missouri and there's some really cool old architecture there. Let's check out the museum. Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here at the St. Genevieve Museum Learning Center. We're going to check out some Missouri dinosaurs today. So come along, check this out. This should be cool. I've been wanting to check this place out for a while. Let's check it out here. Nice display room. In this room here is some of the original fossils that were found. And here's a replica of the hand bone of the Missouri dinosaur that they found. They've actually found a couple other specimens here. Um, I think this one was found in 2004. And you see that little thumb spike there? That is what makes this a hadrosauroid and not a hadrosaur. It was uh, halfway in between hadrosaur and iguanodon. It was like the more primitive iguanodon. Right. A bunch of cool fossils here. Ooh, these are cool. All sorts of neat crinoid bits in there. Ripple stone. Ooh, these are cool. Fisherites. I think this is kind of a uh, algae. I'm not sure. Yeah, green algae. Ooh, here's here's some cool stuff. Stromatolite. Can we find any druzy quartz in this stromatolite? Oh, you know I can. There it is. <laughs> Very cool display in here. I don't know if these are Missouri fossils or just fossils in general. I think these are just fossils in general. As far as I know, we don't have a lot of good track fossils like this in Missouri. This is so cool. Ooh. Check out that sea scorpion fossil. That's awesome. Nice. Ordovician. Yeah, there's some of that coral. Find a lot of that around my house. <laughs> oh wow, check out this trilobite. The guy's crazy. Some cool cephalopods. Wow. Ooh, Cambrian. This is some Missouri stuff. Really cool. I'm just gonna have to take pictures of all this stuff, I think. This is a cool place. So these cases that they had on display from the different geological periods were some of my favorites. A lot of the stuff that they had, like this coral, 
could be found in Missouri. This uh, monoplacophoran with the Druzy quartz was just awesome. So those were some cool fossils. Like that alone was worth seeing. But then I went upstairs and um, checked out some more of the stuff up there. That was pretty cool too. And main area down there. And here we got a story of kind of how it was discovered. Let's go upstairs here and check out what's going on upstairs. Meteorites. Those are cool. Ooh. I don't know what this is, but it is cool. I guess some kind of ripple mark fossil. This is cool, a bunch of old bottles. Oh wow. Old shovels. Would you like to dig with one of those wooden ones? <laughs> wow. Little exhibit on Edison here. I don't know if he actually invented so much as kind of took other people's inventions, but whatever, he was an entrepreneur. Little D Day exhibit. Lots of different cool exhibits up here. These are neat. I'm digging the geology downstairs more. Oh, here's some more geology stuff, I think. Oh, now we're talking trilobites. Yeah. Some cool fossils there. Looks like Morocco and Russia. This guy with the long eyes from Russia is crazy. Oh. oh, okay. There's a label down here. Yeah. And... Ooh, let's see. It looks like this guy here is from Oklahoma. That's cool. Crinoid exhibit. These are really cool. Oh, wow. I'd love to find something like that someday. There's a calyx with the arms attached. Keep bumping my phone on, or my camera on the glass here. All right, Ozark fossils. We got stromatolites and gastropods. These are cool. Oh, there's a uh, what's it called? Cephalopod. Some neat fossils here. Badlands fossils.
Ooh, we've got some big fossils here. What's in here, Cash? A giant fish. Cool. Yeah, that is a giant fish. With apparently teeth. Oh yeah. That's cool. Some cool artifacts in here. Apparently this is a replica of the Maya temple facade right there. down on the main level here there's some really cool stuff here I like all these different like fossil and mineral displays they have here let's check some of these out here's a big chunk of obsidian I'm assuming this is not from Missouri that's cool I'm also assuming this is not from Missouri it's a giant log of petrified wood looks like it's from Arizona Oh, check it out. I didn't see this end is polished. They need better lights in here, but that's cool. Check out this coral. This is the kind of um, coral that we find in St. Louis. Acrocyathus or Lithostranella. I'm not sure, they like recently changed the name, I think. It says this is cyanobacteria, which I guess is these little like balls in there. Yeah, the structures on this rock are a globular form of cyanobacteria that is commonly found in the eminence formation in Missouri. All right, cool, so I learned something. We probably have found those and didn't know it. Zebra rock. I don't think that's from around here. There's fossil mud cracks. And Pennsylvanian plant, plant fossils, or plant fossils, whatever. Yeah, that one's cool, that one there. Dude, this though, I wanna take this home with me. Look at that, that's all fossil coral and then it has this awesome little like jersey cavity in there. That is really cool. This is out there in a creek somewhere around St. Louis. And this, my favorite, the Potosi Formation. This is a huge piece of rock that was once part of a colony of stromatolites. Layered structures created by photosynthetic cyanobacteria. These microorganisms create microbial mats that build up to form reef-like structures. And just as coral reefs provide habitat for sea creatures, stromatolites were also home to an array of sea dwellers. This rock is from the Potosi Formation. It formed during the Upper Cambrian period about 480 million years ago. The Potosi Formation was once a tropical environment similar to the Bahamas in Florida. That's really cool. And that's what we find at Haunted Ridge, all this kind of stuff. And that's the St. Genevieve Museum Learning Center. Definitely worth checking out if you ever come to St. Genevieve. They have a lot of cool stuff to see there. I didn't show all of it in this video, even though there's only two floors to the whole museum. And it's a cool town, too. Definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching, everyone.